But if we get closer, you can see the orange peel. Hey guys, welcome back to another episode. In today's video, we will be discussing if this wrap is the best wrap under $500. If you're new to the channel, my name is Be Distinct. I know the Nissan Z has been neglected the past couple of days, man. It's really sad to see considering it's a brand new car. We've been driving the G35 a little bit more. And just to give you guys a little bit more context for those who are new to the channel and come in and just seeing the Z right here in this Laker edition. Uh, a couple months ago, we had a minor collision in this area right here. It has now been fixed. But during the collision, our vehicle was wrapped in this Anazitec Pro Lavender, which is no longer the case due to the accident. We had to peel everything off. I could not wrap the vehicle immediately right after painting because the paint was just gonna come off so we gave it about 45 days as of today to let the paint cure and really stick onto the bumper do not worry guys this Nissan Z trauma is coming to an end we have an appointment scheduled literally this upcoming weekend in Santa Cruz we will be taking the Nissan Z to get a full makeover we're not wrapping it purple again because purple was just not our color we got a carbon hood coming for the Nissan Z as well and a carbon duck bill coming for the Nissan Z. So this thing's gonna look very, very pretty very, very soon. Today we are gonna be reviewing the wrap provided by Ravuni. Ravuni is an upcoming wrap company who sent us this vampire metallic red wrap for my G35. And I actually think it's quite good for the price. And it's so good that we actually got a new color going on my dad's vehicle. My dad is currently not home, but we're putting a very special color on his this car that he's really excited to put on but let's talk about this red on my g35 now on camera this red may seem pink or maybe a little shade off red i'm not sure how it portrays here on camera just know that in person it really really looks red i'll show you some pictures of what it looks like or some other video from my iphone that captures the color a little bit better and actually let me go grab my better lens to see if we can grab that red color off the car in today's video we're going to talk about a lot of stuff about the ride including the price the color the finish but let's begin with ravuni the website and the wrap alone let's talk about the price for a five foot by 49 feet which is enough to cover a coupe according to ravuni is 480 so 490 dollars which is a freaking steal man wraps now the nazitech wrap alone is double that price it is 800 dollars just to give you guys an idea other wraps like avery and 3m could be upwards towards 600 dollars so this is definitely a steal when it comes to price and then some other warranties online says two years quality warranty 10 foot car wrap for free color difference free exchange trustworthy payment secure logistics so you have the price there let's talk about the color so the color portion of this video is the only part of the video where you guys are going to have to trust me and here are some pictures of what it can look like in the gas station lighting at night now we'll be completely honest with you guys this red isn't quite the Mazda red in the sense that it, it just it's missing a little bit of darkness when it comes when it when it's daylight it's missing that special specialness darkness that that Mazda has but the red itself is there it's really really saturated really juicy and I know the camera's not doing it justice but it's there especially right here you guys see in the camera in person this looks so red so like vibrant but in the camera is so red that it like takes off the red off the camera it looks unsaturated on camera and it almost looks white but in person it's really really red and you guys know how I said in the daylight it's missing that special dark tone that the Mazda Red has well when it comes to nighttime I think it gains that hue which makes this color very special when you go to a gas station or just at night driving under the lights this thing looks like a very very nice midnight red pungent it looks really nice here's a picture here's some more videos because it really does not do it justice I think the color is just so red that the camera really cannot capture how red it is it's kind of weird and the red even has some flakes I'm trying my best to capture it for you guys I don't know if you guys can see the flakes. It's got a little bit of flakes there, which adds the metallic to the red, which makes it look very, very paint-like. Now, how is the finish? And for this segment, I'm gonna go ahead and compare the Nissan OEM paint, the Inazitec Pro Lavender Purple, and that metallic vampire red from Ravuni to compare the finishes. How much orange peel does it have, or is it crystal clear?
Hey guys, I had to pull out my phone just because it's a better quality than my camera right now, at least when it comes to doing this comparison. So we're gonna use this freaking white post around my garage as the line of clarity. So we're gonna look at this post when it comes to determining how much orange peel each of these. This is paint OEM from Nissan. This is a Nozitec Pro Lavender. That's Ravuni's Red Wrap. So here we go. You Once again, that line of the garage. It's a little bit dirty, but there you go. You guys can see very clear it's paint very clear there's like some very very minor orange peel but nothing too crazy this is on camera if you see it in person it looks crystal clear if we move on to the anazotech wrap you can see it's very very clear but if we get closer you can see the orange peel on the wrap but if you kind of back away it kind of goes away a little bit it becomes clearer and it looks more paint like but it still has some orange peel if you look at the ravuni wrap you can see that it also has some orange peel if you back away it becomes a little bit more clear but you can see that it does have some orange peel now if you want me to be completely honest comparing the two i feel like anazitec has a little bit less orange peel but ravuni is not far off so this is kind of like an eye comparison you see it it's very crystal clear you see it, it's clear there's no major orange peel that makes you go like oh shoot that's why a lot of people go to the anazitec wraps and they're like oh crap this looks like paint because you really cannot see the orange peel to the eye because it's so minimal but if you get closer you get to start to see the orange peel a little bit but from the eye you really cannot see it and same with ravuni you go to it and it's crystal clear you see it you're like oh damn this thing's sick you know and people ask you is this paint or is this a wrap so when it comes to clarity ravuni is definitely holding up and the best part about it is that the ravuni wrap is half the cost of the anazatec roll so uh, do you justify paying double the price for slightly better quality or like slightly a little bit less orange peel that you really can't notice to the eye i don't know you tell me now how easy or hard was it to work with the vinyl i went ahead and asked him for his feedback as far as how easy it was to work with this vinyl he said he felt pretty normal it, he liked the thickness of the film it was easy to work with it felt kind of like Avery and 3M to him very flexible and easy to work with but if there was one critique that he had about the vinyl is that when it comes to stretching the film like if you need a corner or you're trying to stretch it around the bumper or something like that it can sometimes lose the strength in its adhesion so be careful about that but overall on the corners it stuck good but just be careful sometimes that can happen the last thing that is left is longevity now I that's something I specifically cannot comment on because I literally just had this installed in my car so I don't know how long it's gonna last I don't know if the colors gonna fade I don't know if things are gonna start peeling so I'll make an updated video in the future on that but so far everything's okay I have fully ceramic coated the entire g35 one of the reasons why I think my wraps last longer the same critiques have have happened to anazitec wraps people say they've gotten anazitec wraps and ma imagine paying 800 dollars for a wrap and then having the color fade or or something starts peeling i've heard or bubbles start forming i've heard a lot of bad critiques about anazitec i'm not sure why my luck with the anazitec has been really good i've had good experiences with the anazitec but other people haven't experienced but i feel like one of the reasons why the color of my wraps remain the same or last longer than other people's is because i ceramic coat my cars anyways guys that's the end of this video i have been receiving a lot lot great feedback for the g35 a lot of people just come up to me it's like bro that's a freaking nice red a lot of people are complimenting the red one thing i'm not excited about is that because it's so nice i feel like it's a definitely an eyesore for cops and i feel like i might get pulled over sooner or later but if you guys are considering getting the ravuni wrap which is awesome at that price point go ahead and check them out ravuni.com you can go ahead and use code B-E-D-I for an additional 14% off, which can definitely bring you to 400 or even maybe $300 territory. I don't know, depending on what you need for a full roll, right? That's kind of crazy. Getting a full roll for almost 300 bucks, that's kind of crazy. But anyways, check out their website. Check out the multiple colors that they have. We'll bring out another review and another install video when, my, when the wrap for my dad's vehicle comes in. 
he will be wrapping his entire Volkswagen in this beautiful color that he chose. But anyways, guys, I'll catch you guys next episode. Super excited to, for the new project for the Z, for the mods coming for it. Really, I really want to turn this car around because it has not been receiving love lately. But anyways, I'll catch you guys next episode. Thank you guys so much for supporting. Peace out, amigos.